Alright, so what's good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy AJH and I am back again with another YouTube video for you guys today. So for the past couple of weeks, you guys have known that I've been playing the crap out of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I cannot get my hands off of it. I've been gaming offline and I've been gaming online over on Twitch, Kick, and TikTok all at the same time. But that's not why we're here. We're here to discuss my pros and my cons to the new game. I know, I'm a little behind, but... It's treated me well so far. All right, so we're going to start off with the cons because there's not that many. One of the main things that I do not like that really disappointed me was the carryover of the MW2 weapons over into MW3. I do not feel like that was needed, and it really ruins the game, especially when you're using a MW3 weapon and the MW2 weapon kills you a little bit faster. And yes, you're probably like, I've never ran into that. I ran into it a couple of times. And the big main con that I have is actually going to probably be controversial. To me, it really does seem like a copy and paste of MW2 just with a $70 upgrade of slide canceling, new guns, and that's about it. Yes, I do understand that they've already said that this is the game they should have came out with or that should have been released, but still it disappoints me that I spent my hard-earned money on a game that's literally a copy and paste with a little bit of a slide canceling update. Now, I can't lie, the guns do feel amazing. They have a really good amount of recoil on them where it's not too hard to control or handle, especially for the people out there that actually have no thumbs. Now, on to the pros. The pros, pff, crazy. Starting off with number one, the camo grind is actually insane. I'm on it all day, every day. And unfortunately, I haven't unlocked the mastery camo yet, but this will probably be the first year since Black Ops 4 that I've had a mastery camo. I just didn't want to grind the other ones out. It just wasn't worth it. Now, I did have Obsidian in MW 2019, but it was on accident. I don't know how. But along with that, the guns feel good. They feel great. The slide canceling the movement. Everything feels great. And along with that, I haven't had any issues with any hackers yet. But I'm sure that that day will come. Now we are about a week and a half away from the December 6th update where everything will integrate into Warzone 2. I don't know if it will be Warzone 2 or they will call it Warzone 3. I have no idea. But anyways guys, comment down below your thoughts and comments, concerns that you have about MW3. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below as well. Like this video if you do agree with any of my cons and as always subscribe to the channel if you do want more content. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.